place like this place because there's no place around this place so this has got to be the place <laughs> and we came from swamp people to people with a view Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Saulberger. We're here in Burlington, Vermont at the Our Family Boathouse. The boat's there, the crawlers are over there, and minnows take it. Nothing says summer like stopping in at Charlie's Boathouse. You can pop in off the Burlington bike path, perhaps ride in on a boat. Have a refreshment, say hello to Charlie and Chris who took it over from their parents. Guess it's in our blood. It's where the Minooski River meets Lake Champlain and it's been here since the 1920s. And it feels like a walk back in time inside there. Well, there was no place for anybody to sit on the shore. And my folks wanted the shore open for people to come and sit. If someone mentions about a canoe or kayak, automatically they say stop at Charlie's. They do. When they come down here, they know about Charlie. And I mean, if you're from this end, the whole North Ave, pretty much, that I've ever known. <laughs> hey, that's great. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. And they told them, you know, you don't have to come and buy. You don't have to come and rent. Just come and sit on the shore and enjoy the view with us. I'm telling you, you're just going to have to make yourself at home. It's a lost treasure, for sure. One of my favorite spots in Burlington. I think it reminds me of my childhood. I can crank it up if you want more. Oh, I got a customer. Hi, how are you? You know, we bring our kids here to have ice cream and burgers and... Burgers are ready! The tip jar. Like I said, we're known all over the world. We've had people come from Germany, Italy, France, India. The people from all over the world. My mother and father loved the people. They treated all the kids as if they were their own kids. It was a big fishing attraction then. Walleye, when a walleye would run, you could almost walk across the boats. You could count 165 boats right here. The people would come all over to see my mother and father, and they couldn't wait to get down here. The, sometimes the family stayed here. But you know, things were hard. People didn't have money, and the old folks had to fish. And they was never worried about a meal. Because like I said, my mother always had a kettle on. My father loved the water. He just wanted to be here. But there wasn't a whole lot to do, except if you want to go fishing or swimming or playing croquet, but there was a lot of kids. A lot of kids never did what we did. We fished, we hunted frogs, turtles. The small ones are for tom-tom frogs, pickerel, suckers, whatever you could stab, spear, you ate because there was no work, no food. If you weren't going to eat it, we didn't take it. That's the way we were taught. I don't care if it was frogs, we had frog legs. Every now and then he'd make the noise. We would push in a little closer. If he hollered, we'd stop. We wouldn't go again until he hollered. And we'd pinpoint him. Every Friday or Saturday night, they'd have round or square dancing. But down here, you lived a different life. And it was more relaxed. That's how he is. You walk in, Charlie says, hey, how's it going? <laughs> have a good evening. I've been coming for 14 years since I moved to Burlington. And it really is one of the gems of, of Burlington. It is unique, and in fact, it's unique for a lot of places, I think. Like the one true original thing in Burlington right now. We try to keep it the way this was back in the 50s. We try not to change anything. The cash register only goes up to $4.99. It's living folk art. Like my brother said a few years ago, you know, I miss the old folks. They don't come anymore. I said, Charlie, <laughs> give it a thought. Who's the old folks now? I'm going to be 83 tomorrow. <laughs> He's not much younger than I am. What I had here, I never got out of a book. I think my first time coming down, I was eight years old. And I came down to go fishing and... Like I said, I've been coming down here since I was a little kid. I've always baited up and gotten my junk food and stuff here. Charlie's been here ever since and taking care of me and... And if you don't make any noise, you have your father go up the river and you'll see the ducks and the geese and the turtles. Old house has been here longer than me. <laughs> but I used to come down here when I was a kid. He hadn't been down in four or five years. Brought his daughter today. Well, this is my daughter, being the third generation to launch down here. Oh, that's so neat. Right on. <laughs> his father used to fish here all the time. A lot of these guys that are fishing here, their folks used to fish here. Whoa. That's mama, that's daddy. They're both 16. And then they in turn got married. 
and then ended up buying a place down here on Elbow Lane. My mother, she was, hey, A1. She knew the value of a dollar. She knew how to grow things by the moon. My father's only getting a couple of bucks a week. He could have made money here, but he didn't. He did a lot of things, but he never thought about money. He had tuberculosis and a bullet near his heart, never drew a cent from the federal government. And they said this man should never work a day in his life, but he worked hard every day. My mother always had a kettle for the people to eat because they didn't have anything. Oh, blood pudding. Boudin in French. We had plenty of that. Fish chowder or she'd have sauerkraut. The dishes were there, the food was there, you helped yourself, and then when you got done, you went to the pump and you washed your dishes. Our cellars were full of food all through the Depression, even though we didn't have any money. We were never hungry, and we didn't know we didn't have any money. Look, Mama, look! She goes, oh! And out of the mist, I saw Champ, and it was pea green, and it looked just like a dinosaur, just like a dinosaur and the body was as big as I am. It was just majestic, it really was. And when it turned to go out, there wasn't even a ripple. The champ was right under that light. So I know exactly what I saw. The sunset, the way the clouds are, sometimes moisture and uh, wind, it changes. And my father and mother never went to bed at night without watching the sunset. They sat out there every night Sometimes the clouds look like people or thunderheads, big ones. And the sun rays go through them. It's going to dance on the clouds, and you can't beat it. And Charlie and Christine are, are just uh, treasures. Oh, he's hugging me back. And Charlie and his sister are just great hosts. And Say good night, Ed. Good night, Ed. <laughs> there you go. Oh, everybody loves Charlie and Chris. Yes, yes. I really enjoy the people because most of the people that come, most of them are nice. We feel cherished. We feel secure because there isn't anybody down here that wouldn't do something for us. If we need it, you just pick up the phone and they're there. My sister and I stay here night and day trying to just to pay off the city of Burlington taxes or buy stuff to, and keep the up place. That's what costs us. We don't make any money off of it. Yeah. Well, you got to keep going. Mm -hmm. You can't get up in the morning and do nothing. It's the city of Burlington. When they come down, the only thing they think about is the view. If they decided to uh, pump us up again on taxes, we'll probably sell it to somebody because they'll be happy that we're gone. I'm playing it year by year. If I don't feel good, we won't open up next year. We hear, hear from so many, and that's what they always, don't give it up, this is like coming home. And if it wasn't for our good friends, this place would be gone or shut down, we'd, we'd just have to lock up. And you start with a laugh, and we end with a laugh. Hey, thank you, guys. Right on. Thank you very much. It's hard to imagine Burlington without the Our Family Boathouse. We'll get stuck around with you again real soon. How's that? <laughs> there she is. She's all yours. I told him the minute he sits down with his coffee, get him. <laughs> My coffee, I started this all day. Still, I just found it again. <laughs> <laughs> what? That looks like a sock on it. What the heck?